This is a series of videos. Please refer to the methods of stitches, ignoring the yarn color. Select the corresponding yarn colors in your material package to learn. Please refer to both the videos and the instructional brochure during your crocheting process. Please make sure to first view the beginning 10 instructional videos to learn the basic methods of crocheting, and then view the instructional videos for your purchased product. Take out the practice yarn and crochet hook from the kit. Watch the basic tutorial videos first, and practice the basic stitches with the practice yarn. The flamingo. The wings. Rounds 1 to 14 of the right wing are the same as the first 14 rounds of the left wing. We'll demonstrate the first 14 rounds of the wings once. Start to crochet the first 14 rounds of the wing. Use dark pink yarn. Wrap the yarn around your knit finger. And then bring it up to index finger. Pinch the yarn tail with your thumb and mid finger. The yarn can be pulled freely like this. Pay attention to the yarn's tightness during crocheting. Don't wrap the yarn too tight around the knit finger, and leave an end here. Work into a magic ring. Make loop around your mid finger and pinch the crossover of the yarn. Insert hook into the loop on mid finger. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. Okay, a match green is formed on the mid finger. Working to match green. Wrap the yarn around your knit finger. Then bring it up to index finger. Make loop around your mid finger. Pinch the yarn with your thumb and mid finger. Insert hook into the loop on your middle finger. Yarn on the hook, pull up a loop. The loop on the middle finger becomes the match ring. In round one, work one chain stitch and six and crochets. Yarn on the hook. and put the yarn through the loop on the hook. That's a chain stitch. First, work a chain stitch. Yarn on the hook, put the yarn through the loop on the hook. That's a chain stitch. The chain stitch as a beginning is to raise height and will not be counted into the number of stitches. Then, work six and crochets. Insert hook into the match ring. Yarn on the hook and pull up loop through the ring. There are two loops on the hook now. Then yarn on the hook 
and pull through both loops and hook. Okay, that's a single crochet. Insert hook into the magic ring. Pull up loop through the magic ring. There are two loops on the hook. Yarn on the hook. Pull through both loops on the hook. One single crochet is done. Such a V-shape is formed on the side. Such a V-shape on the side stands for one stitch. We need to mark the first stitch of every round. Place a marker in the first stitch, through the underneath of both loops of the V-shape. Continue to work 5 more single crochets in the same way. Insert hook into the magic ring. Yarn hook and pull up loop. Then yarn hook and put the yarn through both loops and hook. The second single crochet is done. Let's continue. Six waist shapes stand for six and crochets. We can count the waist shapes to check the number of stitches. The loop on the hook is not counted as one stitch. Six and crochets are done. Pull the yarn tail tight to close the ring. Round 1 is done. In round 2, work 6 increases. Increase means working 2 single crochets in the same stitch. Remove marker and work 1 single crochet in this marked stitch. Insert hook into this marked stitch. Hook the yarn. And pull up loop. Then yarn hook and pull through both loops. Once some crochet is done, such a V shape is formed on the side.
place a marker in the first single crochet. Remember to mark the first stitch of every round. Then work one more single crochet in the same stitch. Two some crochets are in one stitch. That's one increase. Increase. Increase means working two some crochets in the same stitch. In the next stitch, we'll show how to work one increase. First, work a single crochet in the next stitch. Then, work one more single crochet in the same stitch. One increase is done. Continue to work five more increases in the same way. We work two thin crochets in each stitch. Round two is done. Pay attention to the yarn's tightness during crocheting. If we pull the yarn too tight, we can't insert the hook easily. If it's too loose, the stitch holes become too large, so that the fabric will be out of shape.